Not really, because epistemology is a fancy word for really for saying, how do I understand what's real? How do I, un how do I think? How do I actually appreciate what's, what's true and what is false? How do I actually make judgments? How do I understand the world around me is really very close to this word epistemology. It's how do I actually uh, gain knowledge? Now, if you're saying that your brain has evolved from the mud, right? How do I know that my thoughts are real? How do I know that I, I'm not just an illusion? And many scientists, brain, brain scientists who are evolutionists are going this way. They're saying that the idea of a mind, and of course this is linked with the idea of a soul eventually, but just on the first rung of this thought about who we are, what is it to be human, is actually now undermined by this idea that the brain is all we are, and there isn't a mind inside our brain. So what I'm saying now is simply because of the peas I ate for breakfast yesterday, and you know, anything that I am, all the noises that I'm making using language now, is really just a product of a long, a long chain of evolution, which is 13.7 billion years old, which starts as, uh, uh, as uh, uh, has been said by a famous intelligent design person, Phil Johnson, years ago, instead of in the beginning was the word, it becomes in the beginning were the particles. So if you replace in the beginning was the word, the logos, with in the beginning was the particles, you end up with a nonsense concerning what it is to think. And what is your brain? How do you understand anything? And of course, this affects not only science, but it affects art. And what we've actually seen is the rise of art with no meaning. Um, um, art has, you know, gone into not just trivial things, but things pretty base as well. If you go to the Tate Modern Gallery in London, I'm not saying that they're not some sort of reflection of society as it is, which is often what art does. It just reflects where society is. But it's become so nihilistic that people get thousands of pounds, maybe even hundreds of thousands of pounds, for just putting a pile of bricks into the middle of the room and saying that that is art. They've lost all concept of what is right and what is wrong. Ethics has gone out of art, and even understanding has gone out of art. So Francis Schaeffer saw this years ago when he wrote the book with Everett Koop, Whatever Happened to the Human Race? And he also wrote the book, Escape from Reason. Once you undermine reason by saying that we haven't really got a mind, that we haven't got a soul, We've lost our humanity as well as losing God. So we've lost our ability to reason. We undercut our very ability to think.